And we're back to Streets of Rogue, episode three of our Hitman run. Um, I actually messed around with the settings a little bit. I turned down the stre- screen shake a little bit, and um, I messed with the lighting. I turned the lighting uh, effects down a tiny bit because I feel like while the video did look pretty good, um, we, we got a couple slowdowns in that last video, so I'm not sure what the issue there was while recording. Maybe my machine's not quite up to snuff. But back to the run, we are in the park right now. I believe this is the second park level. So we're going to make sure we uh, check these bushes for cannibals before we just dive right into them. Here's actually a house full of cannibals. Let's see if they see me if I get through uh, over this window right here. It looks like we might be able to take them with a gun. Um, I think I'm just going to knock and try to take them out. We definitely want this guy's axe. We need a melee weapon. Okay, nice. Got a couple of rocks. Those are largely useless, but we can trigger some laser traps or something with them or toss them at somebody for a little extra damage. Here's another cannibal. Get him no damage. Nice. Didn't take any damage. Got a full uh, axe durability, 100%. And I think we did get that trait that increases the durability of weapons as well. So this is uh, going really well so far. Okay. They saw me through the window, killed a couple more cannibals, pretty easy, easy enough. Get a beer from the fridge. Gonna check this uh, bartender, let's get one of those beers. And I turned auto sort off on the inventory. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but in case I have like a, a couple weapons that I really want to save, I'll put them somewhere else separated in my inventory. Whoops, took a hit there. Gonna get this guy exploded, took his axe. We're down to 56 health. Uh, level up is coming up. We might want to just eat like maybe one thing. I'm gonna sell these rocks. We have two of these hacking tools, so I'm gonna sell one of those. I'm gonna sell the lighter for six. Doesn't sell for much, but it's something. And I think I'm gonna boost my health a little bit with maybe just these bananas for now. Okay, a real gauntlet of uh, cannibals here. Let's lure this guy away from his uh, friends. Get him out. Okay, we got uh, one more here. The other one didn't see us, so we're luring him away. The other one hurt us now. He's coming. Oh, he took the axe, but not enough time to swing it, so we got him. Our axe is at 100 again. Perfect. We're doing this run uh, pretty well so far with this level. So one of the missions is complete. Leveled up. Nice. Got some chicken nuggets. Got uh, full health. We're going to get a perk at the end of the stage or a trait. I forget exactly what it's called. I think it's a trait. Okay, now you see that in that bush was shaking. There's a cannibal in this bush. So we're going to try to lure him out. Doing good so far. Vampire's attacking me now. You got both of them in one swing. Perfect. Periodically on these levels, the vampires will attack you too. They'll try to uh, suck your blood. And it's pretty annoying. It's, it reminds me a lot of the thieves where they try to just steal something from you. From you. So if you're uh, passing a, a vampire, just be aware of them. He might run at you. Looks like I saw that bush shaking, so here's another cannibal. Let's take him out. Two clean swings, back to 100 durability on our axe. And let's see here. We've got to neutralize this guy. Maybe we can lead him over here. I'm taking this trap out. Looks like we got a gun. I'm waiting for him. I'm going to try the doorway trick. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Doorway again. Double kill. Two pistols. Really nice. Oops. Now, and then I mess up on the uh, melee combat. There we go. We got him, though. It's fine. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty good. Got a crowbar. Probably end up selling that. Got to watch out for this. I almost forgot about it for a second. Through here. Open locked doors. Open the safes. Uh, Got to watch out for this floor trap. There's little floor traps that are a little bit darker and a square on the floor and uh, something can happen like a pitfall or a dart can hit you. I'm gonna throw a banana through there and let's quickly take this out before this gun shoots me. If this saw me, the gun would start shooting me. And uh, durability, I should have actually looked. I don't think durability is wasted when you hit cameras, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll check the next time I, uh, I kill something like that. Gonna make sure, probably could have ran through, but we're just gonna make sure. You know, slow and steady sometimes with this game. If you're not paying attention, you can make a, a missed play somewhere, like through the bushes or something like that. And that actually causes probably about half the deaths in this game. It's just like little misplays. Uh, let's see. Syringe unknown, antidote, rage potion. I don't really want any of that. The cigarettes would have been nice to give to like an office drone or something, but I don't want to spend 22 uh, monies on that, so we're not going to do that. 
And it looks like there's a little maze here. There's a thief. He might come after me. Nope. Okay. And let's try to get these cannibals. Alright, so far so good. No damage taken. Double hit there. No damage taken. Got a rock. Let's get through this. And maybe sneak up on this guy. Nope. He saw us. Blocked that one. Oh, we took a hit there. And we got him down to 117. That's not too bad. I would really like to find the item that it's like a... When you kill somebody, it heals you a little bit. And there's also something where if you kill somebody, it gives you money. Getting that early game is really, really useful. Especially the money one. Because then you're kind of like set for money. Same with that trait. It's called a Trust Funder. You get money at the start of the stages. Uh, that and the... Ooh, okay. Here we go. Almost got caught there, but we did not. So we got him back to 100 durability. It's really nice early game, though, getting all that extra money because then you're kind of on easy street uh, going through the game. You could buy just about anything you want. You could buy every beer. You can. You eventually pay the mobsters to uh, give you extra votes, too, in the election. Did I see something here or no? Okay, it doesn't look like anything. going to take what's in the... Oh, that's really nice. We got an antidote. We can sell that or something. Looks like a vampire's house here, so we're going to probably knock on the door. Oh, and he, he opened the door, actually. saw us through the window and attacked us. That was pretty annoying. So I'm getting ready just to slaughter this vampire. Kind of really pissed us off, so let's kill him. Yeah, get out of my house after you... Yeah, after you suck my blood, get out of your house? No, I'm going to come up with a wooden stake or, you know, a uh, battle axe. Right through the heart. Hopefully we don't crit this. I don't, I don't know if that's how it works or not. we got to stay away from that. No real reason to kill that. I just... I was just kind of compelled. I'm hoping this doesn't destroy the augmentation booth. But I don't think we can really upgrade anything. I don't believe. Yeah, ammo scavenger is a little too expensive for us at the moment. I really got to watch the time this time too. Going through the game. Translator. Nothing too much here. Let's make sure we check the booth. Or the uh, bush. Sorry. Solomatic. We gotta really make sure we don't play too long though. Our last run was, what was that? 40 something minutes. We're gonna try to keep it down to 20, 30 for this. Um, we're gonna sell this rock. Probably sell the crowbar. Uh, I'm gonna actually sell the rocket launcher even though it's pretty nice. Resurrection shampoo. Sometimes I'm not really clutch enough to use this and it sells for a pretty penny. So we're just gonna go ahead and sell it. And then we're probably gonna sell the syringe as well. And everything else looks pretty useful. Oh, not this banana peel. Gonna get rid of that too. Everything else looks pretty useful. We're back at a 750. So actually, we might go back to that augmentation booth and up upgrade the uh, ammo scavenger. So it's nice, basically never running out of ammo at this point in the game because we have, um, let's see. We have ammo scavenger plus, which means it was uh, leveled two times. And uh, anytime they drop a gun, even if it's empty, it's going to have quite a bit of ammo in it still. Uh, enough at least to kill the next person I'm trying to kill with a gun. Wow, plus 14 on that floor. That was really nice. Electability. Um, we're not going to be going uh, bare-fisted or fighting with our mitts anytime soon, so this is going to be useless. Blast Survivor. Uh, Explosion Causal Player. That could be really good, actually, just for those like dumb uh, deaths that sometimes you get in this game. Shop Drops. More or less, I'm not going to worry about this. I think I want to worry about more survivability, so Blast Survivor in case I accidentally trigger an explosion or something. And here we go. Here's the killer robot stage. This is really annoying. I might try to kill him, so this might end up being a whatever... Uh... Okay, yeah, I'm out of cash. Darn. Um, yeah, well, we did get that really nice trait. But uh, we're going to definitely kill this... Um... Kill this entire house of cannibals here. And we're just going to go in swinging. And there we go. We exploded all of them. Let's steal what's in their fridge. And if there's like water somewhere we can get the robot in. I know he's susceptible to water. And if... Oh my god. If we can get... See this guy, he comes at you. He has extremely high health. Extremely high health. I got to focus on these uh, apes. Let's see. Come on, go, 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 go. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. It's going well. It's going really well. Okay, nice. 34 durability still in our axe. Grenade, that's fine. We could probably just sell that. Got some money. And it looks like this robot is... So we made him do 30 damage to himself like that. These pools of water aren't really big enough, so we're not going to worry about that. If you can kind of catch him on a corner like this, you can make him do damage to himself. It's risky though, it really is. 
Let's see. Can, here we go. It's really risky to keep doing that. It's it's easy enough uh, to say like, oh, I can do that all day, you know. But when, once you do it 15, 20, 25 times, I actually just had a run ended from a scientist. That's fine. I just had a run end from uh, that confidence that I thought I could just handle it over and over again. Uh, dodging it over and over, and it ended up just ma making a mistake. I looked away for a second, you know, my girlfriend might have talked to me or something. And yeah, it was really disappointing that I blew myself up basically with that robot. So if we can keep him in a pool of water, I think that's kind of the play. Because he does take damage from water. Uh, we... What? Why, 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 what? Why do they hate me? Do they have to knock on the door or something? I'm not sure. Okay, we got a... Okay, okay, okay. And okay, let's see. No, 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 no. It's getting pretty dangerous. It's getting really dangerous here. Um, I want to lead him a little bit away from where I'm trying to go. Oh. Ah, not the best play there. Not the best play. We're getting really low, actually. Oh, and we leveled up. Perfect time to level up. We were getting down to like 30 health. Oops, we took damage from the plant. Now I'm just being really, uh... I'm playing kind of frantically because this robot's catching up to me. It's pretty scary. Check this bush real quick. Let's see what way the robot's coming in. He's coming in this way. Uh, do we have... Let's put the food on four. Uh, just in case we need that. And the sandwich, just so we have a hot key for it. Got some syringes. I do want to be able to sell that. And I also want him away from the, um... The selling booth too, so he doesn't actually blow it up. So where is that thing? It's uh did he blow it up already? I'm not sure, unless I didn't find it somewhere. So vampire, stay away from me, vampire. It looks like uh oh, Jesus. There we go, we got him. Another Another cannibal in the bush. There we go. We got the cannibal. We're gonna dodge this. We're gonna dodge this. We're gonna take what's in here. That's good. Oh, here we go. We didn't go through this labyrinth and the... Yeah, it looks like the robot's catching up to us at this point. Keep him away from the door. Oh my god. We have... I have to predict where he is, basically. Did he fall in the hole? Oh my god, get me out of here. Oh, and it looks like the robot blew him up. Okay. Got the safe combination. We need to lead him away, though. I, I'm too nervous about uh, having him in there with me while I'm trying to get that safe. So let's get him a little further somewhere. Maybe on this side of the map. Check the augmentation booth. Nah, no, nothing really. Okay. No traits or anything. Did we get this chest yet? No, we didn't. We didn't get this chest. Got a sword. Pretty cool. And uh, another little trick, and it might be obvious, but if you um, if you really want to maximize your like money in this game and your efficiency playing, uh, you want to be like the most efficient you can be. If you've got an axe, say, and you're killing a cannibal with an axe, and you have, especially when you have increased durability, you kill him, it's down to like 90, and he drops like a fresh axe. You you might want to sell your axe that you're holding and then run back and get the axe he dropped and if you keep doing that you can get yourself a pretty good amount of money uh not kind of overshooting um i'm trying to explain this well not kind of wasting the durability like if if it's at 90 and you pick one up you're kind of like you pick up an axe that say has like 40 50 durability it's kind of like wasted durability in a way see that 75 durability axe i think my axe was already at oh no you know what? i wasn't even holding one but if i was holding one that was at 100 it would have been or 90 it would have been like tons of durability wasted instead of you could just sell the one that you're holding come back and then pick up that fresh item so i think that's a good way to do it sorry i kind of lost my uh lost my head there for a second but we do want to go in here uh, no we don't I think we... Oh my god. We might do a grenade at this point. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're, we're out. We're out. We're out. And I really do want to get off the stage with the... Um, 
I did say I kind of want to try to kill the robot, but it's just making me so nervous. If we can lead him into, I don't know, there's really no good areas, I feel like. If we could lead him into a pool or something. He was just in that pool taking a little bit of damage. That's another thing too. Even if the rocket doesn't hit you directly, if it hits a wall behind you, it will do that area damage on you. So I don't think I'm gonna... Whoop. I don't think I even want to risk this. It's not necessarily the ideal level to kill the robot. On the later stages, there's these giant um, like rivers that you can kind of get them in. And if you just, and it's a straight line, it's either horizontal or, I think it's usually a horizontal river. If you get him in there and then walk all the way to the left, if it's a really long one, he'll just be wading through that water for a while and it'll be a way easier way to kill him. And once he's in on one end, you quickly, you know, you move around him, you dodge his rockets and you do the same thing with uh, on the right side. Anyway, uh, pass through people and objects, I did, uh, talk about that. I don't really like that. Trust Funder is actually one I was looking for. And Firearms would be nice, but we are gaining um, we are gaining stats from every other level with that one of the perks we picked in the early game. So we're going to go Trust Funder here and get us uh, extra money, especially that we just spent that 750 and we're kind of low again. But here, this is what I was talking about, downtown. Okay, they're not all horizontal. Here's like a vertical like river, for example. If you get him in the river and then get on the end here, he's going to be walking just like this down the entire river really slowly, just constantly taking damage. And it does take a while. I have not done it yet, but he does take that damage. But you can definitely do it. I think that's probably the best method to uh, kill the robot. Unless there's, you know, put, uh, throw him in a hole or something like that. Oh, I, I wasn't even paying attention here. I mean, we might be dead. We might be dead. Right, we're going to eat our sandwich. We're going to eat our sandwich. I don't know what I was... I saw something flashing. I was too deep in thought. <laughs> And uh, there we go. That ends the run. Oh my god. That ends the run. That's It's about 50% of the time I die. I just do something dumb. I'm just like, ah, shiny thing. And then I click it and I'm, I don't realize that I just messed up my uh, Streets of Rogue run. Right? I, was, I was talking too much about the robot. So that's how you lose in Streets of Run, uh, uh, Streets of Rogue on your run. So uh, maybe we'll start another one at some point. I'm a little disappointed that I, uh, that I did. That was just a really dumb mistake. So uh, there we go. That's how, that's how you you act like a noob in uh, Streets of Rogue. So episode three, uh, that'll be the end of this one. And maybe I'll title the next. I'll, uh, maybe I'll try a different character in the next one. But anyway, until next time.